Hello, my name is Andrew Retz. I'm the Director of Student Information Systems here at Tustin Unified School District. Every year, Tustin Unified turns on a process called Parent Data Confirmation leading into the new school year. This process allows parents and guardians to provide up-to-date information to their school for the upcoming school year. This also allows the school and district to provide annual notices and authorizations. The term enrollment has been used for several different processes, but these are three different processes. To help understand this, here is a visual of the three processes. First, we have online enrollment. This is the first collection of information we receive through our online enrollment site. You are taken through several screens to give us information about you and your student. This is only collected once for the student's entire enrollment history at Tustin. Data confirmation is done annually on your ARIES parent portal. This process will ask parents and guardians to reconfirm information that is commonly changed and also to provide you with annual regulations for the upcoming school year. The data confirmation process will give staff at your school a better way to support your student. For example, indicating your student has a peanut allergy or adding a grandparent to an emergency contact. This process is done inside your parent portal and can only be done by an apparent account. This process is turned on around three to four weeks before school starting and notification will be sent to you when the process is enabled. Parent data confirmation is best done on a larger screen device like a desktop, laptop, or an iPad. Mobile devices may have difficulty allowing you to edit some of the screens in that process. Registration is done annually in person at your school site. Some things your school may use registration for are paying fees and fines, picking up uniforms, locker assignments, taking school pictures, or getting a class schedule. Let's take a closer look at each step inside data confirmation and how it will help your school better support your student. Parent data confirmation is a seven-step process that is required by parent and guardians before a student starts school. Each of the steps are family information surveys, income survey, contacts, medical history, documents, authorizations, and a final confirmation. Step one is the family information screen. In step one, parent and guardians will be asked to complete three short family information surveys. One, if the student is currently in foster care. Two, if the parent guardian is in active military. And three, if the student is currently experiencing homelessness. Students experiencing homelessness are entitled to additional resources and support. This information is kept confidential between you and your school's administration. Step two, income survey. In step two, parent guardians will be asked to complete an income survey. Starting in March of 2023, the Universal Meals Act passed in California that requires California schools to provide free meals to all students without a meal application. This helps families in the district to remove a complicated meal application and cut down on processing time. However, schools are still funded through families who would qualify based off income. The income survey is a simple alternative to a meal application that will help you and your school continue to fund free meals for all students. This information is kept confidential between you and your school's administration. Step three, contacts. The contact screen allows you to update your current contact information for parent guardians or for emergency contacts. This will keep the school office and teachers updated with accurate contact information on how to reach you. Each student is required to have at least one contact labeled parent guardian in the record type. A parent guardian contact will need a name, phone number, email, relationship, notification preference, and an education level. The notification preference, general and emergency, is used for all general messaging, including attendance calls, school events, or announcements. For an emergency contact, please populate the contact's name, relationship, and one phone number, and select the notification preference emergency only. These contacts are only used in emergency situations where the school sends an urgent message. Step four, medical history. The medical history page will allow you to edit or add any medical conditions for your student. A robust list is provided for you to choose from. Please contact your school's health office for any additional questions. Step five, documents. The document screen is used to provide parents and guardians with required updated information each year, such as the student's rights and responsibilities. By clicking on the document, it will open up in a new window and mark the document as read. Step six, authorizations. The authorizations page will allow you to consent to which data can or cannot be released. Some examples are the student media release for the district or school social media, information regarding graduation or financial aid. We do not release information or records concerning your child to non-educational organizations or individuals without your consent. Step seven, final data confirmation submission. The last step is to confirm all previous information is correct and to electronically sign with the link provided. This link will take you inside ParentSquare 
our communication system to e-sign the information provided. An emergency card is also available for you to print or save at the last step for your records. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it was helpful. If you need any support in this process, you can call your school's office for assistance or visit our school's website for more information. There is a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the process. Tustin Unified thanks you for your cooperation and support in verifying your students' information. Have a great school year.